I thought I'd show you this setup I have with this old TV and a ZX Spectrum. Uh, the old TV I got at a garage sale a while ago for a buck. When I saw it, I thought it would be a great thing to have to go with uh, my old game consoles and my old computers. Um, it has no composite inputs on it. It's only got an antenna input on it. And uh, it's a, an American TV that does 60 hertz NTSC. And this is a, a British ZX Spectrum Plus 2 that does 50 hertz PAL. But as you can see, I do have them hooked together. Uh, I, I have no idea what the controls are. But the ZX has not been modified, and the TV has not been not modified, but yet somehow I've got them connected up here. And let me show you how I did it. Here's the Spectrum, and what I've done is I have it hooked up, not using the TV out that sends out the RF signal, but instead it's hooked up through the RGB, and I've got the sound out going through here. And there's a whole bunch of stuff happening behind here which is what's making it work with this TV that only has an antenna input on it. First, the video comes out of the back through the RGB and comes into uh, this GBS 8200. From there, that gets converted to VGA, and the VGA goes over through here to this VGA to TV box, and then the output from this goes into this four-port switcher which also happens to have an RF modulator built into it. And so the, the signal comes out of that uh, through this wire and then comes up through the TV. And so then you can see that here on the TV, when I start the game, it is the game and it is really going through there. And so the TV hasn't been modified and the, the specy hasn't been modified. I'm just using a bunch of extra stuff behind it. For more information about how I hooked up the Spectrum, be sure to check out my blog at incentricity.com.